Welcome to Dell Technologies Connectrix Brocade B Series How To Series. How to configure domain ID on a brocade switch. Reference Dell Knowledge Article Number 189866. This video was created to demonstrate how to configure domain ID on a brocade switch. Each switch in the fabric is identified by a unique domain ID in the range 1 through 239. The default domain ID for B-series switches is 1. Domain IDs are embedded in the first byte of 24-bit fiber channel addresses to identify source and destination ports in a fabric. If the domain ID for a switch changes, the fiber channel addresses assigned to the ports attached to that switch also change. This can be very disruptive to some hosts. It is recommended that the administrator assign unique permanent domain IDs to each domain. On B-series switches, these are called insistent domain IDs. The default setting is for non-insistent domain IDs. This video presents the following. Unique domain IDs are distributed by the principal switch to each domain in the fabric. When two switches join, a principal switch is chosen. All other switches are subordinate. Each subordinate switch requests a domain ID as configured by the administrator. If the requested domain ID is available, it will be assigned to the requesting subordinate switch. If a requested domain ID is not available, there is a domain ID conflict, then the principal switch will assign another domain ID. If a subordinate switch is configured for non-insistent or preferred domain IDs, it will accept the alternate domain ID and join the fabric. If a subordinate switch is configured for an insistent or static domain ID, it will reject the alternate domain ID assignment and segment or isolate itself from the fabric. When to do this? Changing domain ID is a disruptive operation. The process can take several seconds, during which traffic is delayed. It is recommended to configure these when the switch is first installed or when a virtual fabric is created. Although domain IDs are assigned dynamically when a switch is enabled, you can change them manually so that you can control the ID number or resolve a domain ID conflict when you merge fabrics. Before you begin, if you want to add the switch with insistent domain ID enabled into an existing fabric, you must verify that each switch has a unique domain ID or disable insistent domain ID mode using the configure command. Use the following procedure to set the domain ID. Log into the switch with an admin account. Enter the switch disable command to disable the switch. Enter the configure command. Enter Y after the fabric parameters prompt. Enter a unique domain ID at the domain prompt. Respond to the remaining prompts or press Ctrl D to accept the other settings and exit. Enter the switch enable command to re-enable the switch. Enter the fabric show command. The principal switch is determined by the arrow next to the name of the switch. Enter the switch disable command to disable the switch. Enter the configure command. Enter Y after the fabric parameters prompt. Enter a unique domain ID at the domain prompt. Respond to the remaining prompts or press Ctrl D to accept the other settings and exit. Set Insistent Domain ID mode to make the current domain ID insistent across reboots, power cycles, and failovers. This mode is required fabric-wide to transmit FICON data. Enter the Switch Enable command to re-enable the switch. Now run Fabric Show to verify that configured domain ID is assigned to the switch. Important Notes Keep the following restrictions in mind when working with domain IDs. Do not use domain ID 0. Using this domain ID can cause the switch to reboot continuously. Avoid changing the domain ID on the FCS switch in secure mode. 
to avoid future conflicts and unexpected changes when additional switches are enabled that might be assigned the default ID, it is recommended that you change the default ID to an insistent domain ID. Refer to the following for more information. Thank you for watching.